Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you notify every time we drop new content. Now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, I'm sure by now everyone has seen the infamous picture of O Block Louis um, that has been going viral that shows off a wound that he suffered the night King Vaughn lost his life in Atlanta. Now, Louis took a bullet to the head and is actually lucky to be alive because after the situation went down that night, most of his friends thought he wasn't going to make it. They already started posting RIP posts, saying RIP to him, posting their condolences, but to their surprise, Oblock Louis actually survived. So for the ones that don't know, Louis was with King Vaughn and Slutty and it's said that when shots started to ring out during the scuffle with Quando Rondo, Louis was shot by undercover officers after a shootout took place. Now, Louis survived, um, Slutty didn't. However, he has to live with not only the trauma, but the scar and dysfunctions that come along with that injury. Now, most people would say, oh, he's talking slow now. Oh, he's messed up for life. But to be honest with you, anything beats being in the casket. And I must admit, I can't even imagine how it'll feel to one day be regular and doing things how you normally do it. And suddenly something happens where your life has changed forever. You know, it's like being able to see all your life and then suddenly you go blind. Or it's like being able to walk all your life and then suddenly you're paralyzed and can no longer walk. I remember when I was young and I broke my wrist and had to experience for months how to do things without my left arm and it was hard. And one thing it taught me was to never take things for granted, right? And never be ungrateful and appreciate the little things because tomorrow it can all be gone, right? It could be here today, and going tomorrow. Anything could change in the New York minute, literally, and that's what we've seen with O Block Louie. Now, not only Louie, but we've seen it with FBG Wooski. And to be honest with you, you have people that troll Wooski for his condition, but it's really the same thing with O Block Louie, despite how or what may have happened. At the end of the day, it's all a result from being in the streets. Now, this is how I don't understand how either side control each other because they both have guys that lost their ability to do regular things due to being in the street. And one of the main reasons I wanted to do this video is to spread awareness on this because this is the side of the streets that people don't show because it isn't popular. This is the side of the streets that people don't know about. And it reminds me of a post of one of these Instagram influencers, I forgot his name, but he asked, he said, are you really down for your boy like you say you are? Are you ready to help him wash because he could no longer do it by himself or wipe himself when he takes a number two because he can't? And I know most of y'all listening right now, like, who are you bugging? Right? What you mean by wash my friend and wipe his butt? What you mean? Guess what? When your friend took a bullet, it could no longer function properly because he survived by the skin of his teeth and he needs help taking showers now because he can't function like he used to. Are you going to be there to do it? Right? Them same people that'd be like, nah, I don't know about that. Those would be the same ones that'd sit there and encourage you to go on hits. They encourage you to go on drills. They encourage you to crash out. But when you need them the most, they're no longer around. And I know it sounds crazy because it sounds crazy to me, but you know, one display of this, and rest in peace FBG Cash, because this isn't no shot at him or anything. I actually like Cash. But if y'all remember that video he did where he was kinda making fun of Wooski, you know, cause y'all know Wooski's condition, but there was a video that, I think we did a video covering it as well. But FBG Cash was there, kind of like, you know, a little bit making fun of Wooski. Because you know Wooski can't function the way he wants to function. But here's my thing. This is what I'm saying. Those same guys, are they going to be there for you when you need them the most? Or are they going to troll you? Are they going to make fun of you? You see what I'm saying? But in reality, this is what's really going on. 
but it's not glorified because it's not cool. But you have these young guys coming up thinking the street life is cool, but they need to see this, right? They need to see this. And honestly, it's more common than you think. You have guys like Little Varney from OTF, FBG Wooski, Oblock Louie, Poodle LaFleur, where these guys may have did their thing in the street back in the day, but now they're stuck with injuries that they can't come back from. You see what I'm saying? Got to spend a lifetime in a wheelchair. Or got to spend a lifetime not doing the same regular things or functioning the way you used to be. And like I said, shout out to them guys because I can't imagine that. I can't imagine, let's say, God forbid, something happened and I can't function the same way I used to. Who knows what that's like, man? So some people even say it's karma. Everyone has their own opinion on what it could be. But at the end of the day, it's not something to troll about, honestly, because it could happen to anybody. Especially when you're in the street. They say when you play hard, the outcome isn't always pretty. And it's common, if y'all pay attention, amongst the guys that have suffered some of these fatal injuries, it's said that they play hard in the streets. Right? Most of these guys, when you hear about them and they pass on what they was doing in the street before, they be like, yeah, they was in the field. But guess what? Look at them now. And that's no shot. This is just for the guys that need to learn from other people's mistakes or other people's experiences. It can happen to anybody. <laughs> nobody's bulletproof. Nobody's untouchable. Nobody's invincible. It can happen to anybody. Because for one tough dude that swear he's the toughest out there, somebody tougher. In the minute you feel or think that that's not true, you become a victim. But once again, it's nothing to sit there and troll about because it can happen to anybody. Now, in Wooski's case, you know, and I use him because he's the most trolled. Everybody, you know, all the ops, they talk, oh, Wooski, he done got songs about Wooski the whole nine yards. And it's controversial because most people say that Wooski was struck by friendly fire, stating that the ops wasn't even the one behind that. But that's another case. Now, of course, they didn't mean to hit Wooski, right? Let's just say that if it was friendly fire, allegedly, they didn't mean to hit Wooski in the head if it is, in fact, true. But that's the thing. You never know where it can come from or when it's going to happen. But just know that also you reap what you sow. And that's a part of the streets when you live in that lifestyle. And honestly, it's unfortunate, but a lot of the times there's no pity for you. You know what you signed up for. You know what you did. You know the life you was living. So when it's your turn, you put your chin up and deal with it no matter what it is. I never forget what a CEO told me when I was incarcerated. He said, when you're in jail, instead of complaining about being there, just think of all the times you didn't get caught. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And when you look at life from that perspective, you learn to take accountability for your actions no matter what it is. No matter what the penalty is, no matter what the consequence is. Stand ten toe. So when it comes to King Louie and his condition, I know it's easier for guys to troll and make fun, you know, if you an op, because that's just what comes with the territory. But as a man, if you in that lifestyle, that should be the last thing you do. Because like they've been saying lately, the same thing that'll make you laugh is the same thing that'll make you cry. Same thing you wishing on the next man could hit you 10 times harder and faster, which is why we don't wish jail or death on nobody. Right? Now, I actually commend Louis because he didn't have to post some pictures. I'm sure he knew that posting that picture was going to have the ops trolling and dissing, but he decided that he didn't care and still posted it. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was something with his mother. Maybe it was a funeral. I don't know. Don't quote me. But he didn't have to post it. Now, we also went live where you could see the wound from the injury as well. But once again, nobody told him to go live. He decided to go live himself, which was pretty brave of him, as well as Wooski. People make fun of Wooski, but he also put himself out there. Right? These guys could literally stay away or try to or cover up or whatever the case may be. And y'all must realize, majority of the time, the reason guys make it their business to troll these guys is because these guys actually were factors. Before they got the, you know, the condition and whatever's wrong with them, they were actually factors. Ain't nobody going to care about trolling people who aren't factors. But once again, they come with the game. And although it's unfortunate, I'm sure these guys rather be breathing than to be six feet under in somebody's casket. So in a nutshell, like I said before, hopefully this is something that these kids can learn from. Hopefully seeing this shows them that this may not be something that they want to get into these days. And most of these kids just glorify the street lifestyles that the same guys portraying it isn't even living themselves. How crazy is that? Get to a bag. It's always these days if you could remove yourself from the environment to get to a bag legally. 
right? Because a lot of times the environment is what's keeping you back because of the negativity. So you got to adapt. You got to have the anger and the aggressiveness 24-7 looking over your back. But if you could remove yourself from that environment, get to her back and take care of your family, it'll make more sense to do that and stay alive. So y'all jump in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about Oblock Louie going viral with his pictures, showing off his wounds. Keep in mind, like I said, nobody made him do it. He decided to do it himself. I commend him for his bravery. And um, shout out to him. Shout out to him. Shout out to Wooski. Shout out to Lovani. Shout out to um, Poodle the Flair. Everybody that lost something due to the streets. You know, because it's a lot of people. And that not just these guys. In, in life, in the world, period. You know, sometimes you get a wake-up call. Sometimes God ain't done with you yet. But you'll get that wake-up call to really wake up. And the next one, you just might not be it. I'm going to leave it at that. Y'all jump in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.